Libras, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ari. I will be your spiritual reader today. Like always, we go through our spiritual oracle. I believe this is your message. Now, I always leave the cards untamed and untouched. After every reading, I sort of just set it and forget it. My nephew likes to say that to me. So um, I want to start off this reading today with this. And um, it might not be clear. It's kind of like it's a fish I still can't identify. A lot of you guys identify it after we watch our videos. Again, it has a pointy spout, but it looks like something that you can catch with a fishing pole. If anybody does know what this little guy is, I will offer a free reading to you for no charge, okay? So just leave your comment and the first person to find out who this fish is, we'll get that. It says 44, so foundational, if you guys can look, it's just missing that last four of an angel number. It says unexplained wonders, okay? Uh, you could feel a strike of luck this coming week, or maybe you already had it. For some of you, it can be finding out that you actually have a Valentine that you're very, very happy to have. It says magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life, okay? All your prayers are being answered now. Spirit is acknowledging that anything that you had troubles with or struggles are now being eased through divine help. Um, it's so funny because this fish looks quite quite rare, like I haven't seen it before. Um, and he's looking quite old, like his face is very aged. He looks like an old man. But through this is a piercing light through the water. And if you guys could look a little deeper, he has little friends that are sort of swarming around and protecting him. There's one right here. And I believe there's a white one, if you can see. He's his spouts right there. So um, it looks like there's perseverance, but spirit has heard the call and i know it's referring to fishes in this photo but all of us are the fish swimming in this great matrix of a sea so it says unexplained wonders something could be happening on a miraculous level to you today you could be received very well um, of course there's opposition sometimes around us that we have no idea about seven of swords but this is um, an instance here a beautiful message because it just means that whatever you put out into the universe is being received um, the efforts that you put out is being taken, right? So unexplained wonder. I love this card. It just speaks to me of miracles that are passing through. Okay, so let's get you another sea animal, okay? If that one did not resonate, because I understand all cards do not resonate. Um, let's see what you have in the split. Every step counts. Beautiful sea urchin. It says there is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply through your situations as fully as you consider your options. I do believe some of you have a seven of cups going on in your life. There are plausible people. There are dating options for some of you looking for love. For some of you looking more towards personal goals and like weight loss, looking for a new job, there are options that are taking you to have baby steps. And these baby steps are actually opening your eyes more to other choices. So whereas it was seven before, it can turn into 14, then 21 different options. So for some of you Libras, they're just out there. It's for you to go find these treasures because they're there, um, essentially. Every step counts in unexplained wonder. I feel like uh, unexplained wonder is kind of romantic. There's a romantic miracle happening there, or maybe you're finally finding someone. Gliding through the currents, you have this. And um, again, I think it's like hammerhead family of sharks. They are definitely, oh, I'm sorry, they're stingrays. They are stingrays today. It says, with a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease. Libras are known for their grace. Going inward and bringing your understanding of things and perspectives and sharing the behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight. So this gives me three of pentacles. And there are three of these stingrays. There's one right here, here, and here. So there's synchronicities in your first card and this one. I do think that they both pertain to romance. Um, you're gliding through the currents right now and it may be something that you're retraveling. If some of you are dating, you're retraveling through this zone that looks very different from times, um, from times lapse, you know, and, uh, it's so funny. I got in a conversation today about dating and apps and things like that and about love. And they were like, it's a different ball game from when it was 2002, right? It's a different place. Um, you do have on the split, I split it again, you have that rediscovering your zeal card from Tuesday nights. Um, and I do believe that this is panning out to be a love read. So let's get your three energies. 
the three cards that want to show up for you. 78 cards of the Muse. Show me Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Unexplained Wonders. Again, you have number 10. Every step counts. Beautiful energy and gliding through those currents. Number 13. Page of Cups. Page of Cups here on the table. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have a water sign coming toward you. Water signs are emotional. Uh, Scorpios, they tend to withhold information, withhold some feelings. Cancers are completely protective. Uh, Cancers and Libra sometimes have a strange dynamic where they can't come forward and share emotions as easily. So you have this sign here, Page of Cups. I'm going to show you that I have it. Page of Cups. Water sign energy amidst all this ocean current, right, that you have going on in your reading. We also have temperance. You could have a Sagittarius that's eyeballing you or fascinated by you. Sagittarius and Libra are both very adventurous. They like to look into discovering things. They also like to learn new things. They make great friends, but they make greater partners. So I'm really glad to see that you have a fire sign here that's actually outstanding for you. Let's keep going. You have the Knight of Pentacles, and this lasts from the from today to February 5. You have someone that's moving slow, and I think it has something to do with them being shy. Okay? Shy about love, shy to approach. This person could actually be trying to work on you, Libra. Like, they might be trying to spread their charm, but it's going to come at a slow cost. Knight of Pentacles is the slowing, slowest moving knight in the deck. And it's freezing, so I'm sorry for my approach here and delivering the message very, very cold today. You have the Eight of Cups reversed. You've decided to stall. Whenever I see the Eight of Cups reversed, it means that my action right now is not completely to walk away. I'd like to discover still what's here for me. So it doesn't have a good or bad connotation. It does have a stagnation to it. Um, it is reversed for a reason. So I will go through today and put a clear description of the Eight of Cups in communities. That way you could read through. We have the Ten of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. So Libra, this is your energy and it means that you are running away from the scene or you're trying to avoid something that might cause a tower moment, might cause a crash. Um, for some of you, it could be not confronting a certain feeling about someone. I'm getting that this is about a person that you just don't want to deal with the fire at this time or deal with the heat in the kitchen. Um, the Knight of Swords is defensive. It's a defensive stance in tarot, and it's a running away of sorts. So I do see that here in your energy. I'm not sure if you're running from something that just recently happened or that hasn't come to a complete decision, okay? We also have the Four of Wands in the near future. Near future cards are Four of Wands, Strength, and the Ace of Cups. Beautiful Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck of the Muse. And here she's rediscovering things from her crown chakra, Okay, so probably today is a learning day and probably it could bring some luck to you because of your first oracle card. We do see a Leo here coming forward and we also see more water energy and Aries Leo Sagittarius in your center card. Somebody wants to get together with you on a particular date and you know what date I'm talking about and involves hearts and chocolates. This person wants to discover more about you they want to learn more and they also want to get in touch with your heart. Whatever has happened to you, I feel like this person also wants some personal information. Be careful what you divulge at this time, Libra, to any romantic person or even just family. I feel like at a later date, they will use it against you. So just make a marker of that at a later date, maybe when you're more successful or maybe when you aren't seeing clearly. Okay, make note of that. Somebody here is going to use information to sort of slight you. Uh, be careful with that because Seven of Swords does return. We have a Leo. We have a perfect Leo here for you. Looking strong um, and stable. I get from the Leo that could be coming toward you, man or woman. They are a stable energy and they have their life together. Okay, so make marker of that for a romantic person. The Ace of Cups is new beginnings in love. It's new feelings. Um, this person can feel a romantic gesture to offer you or even gift you something. Uh, I do believe this person is in your environment already. 
okay? Your cards are showing it. Even your oracle shows that they're working with you already at a slow pace. Um, just be aware because the Knight of Pentacles is paired with this Ace of Cups today. They're going to be moving very slow, um, maybe towards things that are currently happening in their life. There could be a child involved with this romantic partner. So um, I definitely think you have great signs here for you. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and we also have the Ace of Cups with water signs. I hope you enjoyed this video today, Libra. There's more coming in a few hours. I will see you then.